and the good thing about it is, you know, you can you can do a video with somebody, and it's it's something that you can transcribe to print, and and it's also something it's a it's a it's a media product that's ready made. Mm -hmm. But uh, we were starting to talk about. Uh, Oh, anything, anything, anything. anything, anything. Uh, all I know is how lucky we are that uh, I wrote a song that, that connects with people, you know? It's, yeah. We, we, we've done, you know, I've written dozens and dozens of songs. We've had six or seven albums all together, uh, and uh, that one song seems to connect better than, than all the rest of them put together. But anything, it, anything. Yeah, but it's nice that people, you know, notice it. And, oh, yeah. And that, it, that it touches that chord inside of them, you know, like... You're just talking about that girl, and a lot of people that's hear right. it and say, "That's me. That's that's my song." <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's really my song. Just think about it. I mean, it's really about me. So. Oh really? That was that was like how you felt oh, about absolutely. That was, a, that was absolutely. That was a. You're like doing anything for? Her? Very autobiographical. Ah. And uh, and I mean, just think about it. Like all the people that maybe met and they, they fell in love and everything. No, go ahead. You're you're fine. I mean, you know, you, you might be responsible for for you know children being born out there because of that one song. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's amazing. It's 20 years, you know, 25 years later or so. I, I now guess it came out in 85, so 23 years later it's still uh, still on the radio and we're, yeah. still, we're, we're playing in concert tonight. So That's it'll be, right. It'll be fun. The big rock and roll scam worked out for you. You're uh, still getting royalty as us. It's a dream come true. Yeah, that's right. You're living a dream. Life is but a dream. Well, I mean, it's it's uh, your, your newest album is Everybody Dies, and that yeah. seems to be... Uh, a much different direction than you would you originally uh, went, isn't it? I mean, what, what was the inspiration you know what, behind I think that as name? You get, as you get older, you know, more people die in your life. More, you know, your the list gets longer of, of people that you you, you love, you know, yeah. loved ones, or, or your heroes, or, or uh, was you it know. was it family or loved ones, or how did how did death touch your life to inspire you in that manner? My best friend was 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 uh, diagnosed with terminal uh, esophageal cancer, and Ooh. we knew it was coming, and so. I, you know, I pretty much lived that last year with him, and I wrote that song before, you know, while he could still enjoy it. And, and if, if you listen to it, it's it's, it's a feel-good song about about death. It's it's a the the, the, the imagery of, of the cover is like the smiley face. It's a happy face. It's a it's have a nice death, you know, because you know it's 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 everybody has that in common, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it, unfortunately, it's the human it's, condition. It's like the, the French the, might say. Yeah, no, it's it, it, it's inevitable. Yeah. So when, when you first started out, Rodney on the Rock thought you were actually from France. He thought that Drumarama was a French band because you were on a French label. It was a New Rose. Mm -hmm. And um, and so how did you get past that? What, did he did he uh, pick you because he thought you were French or because he liked well, you? Strangely enough, you were French? since we went in this circle, the guy who wrote the Everybody Dies song was the guy who told us that Rodney was playing us on the radio out here. Uh, he was living in California at the time, and he's like, Hey, you guys! See you guys in New Jersey. This guy's playing it, and he's telling everybody you're from France. And <laughs> we were like, "Wow!" And uh, so we came out here for kind of like a vacation, just to just to visit, and maybe oh, play, that? play a couple shows back in 80, 86. And then we we, we pretty much uh, became residents in California. You mean it was the the friend of yours who recently passed away? Yeah. yeah he told you. He's the one who connected you with. Rodney yeah. on the Rock, because Rodney on the Rock was playing your song. Exactly. And, oh, wow, okay, so it kind of comes full circle then. Mm -hmm. And and was he the one who wrote that song, or you wrote it for him? Everybody Wh Dies? Right. I wrote that for him, yeah. Okay, okay. It was, it was for him to help. It's a, like I said, it's a feel-good, happy, happy death song, you know. It's it's, it's mm. not a, it's not a morbid, sad song. It's a, it's a you know, smile and, 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 and kind of accepting it, it, sort of being, yeah, yeah. being, being okay with key, it. Acceptance is the key to everything in this world, and that's basically what it's about, yeah. Wow. Don't, don't be afraid, because it's, uh, that's heavy it's stuff, gonna man. happen. Yeah. Do you have any kids? Do you, do you I have, have four uh, daughters. Four daughters, wow, that's a, that must be a handful, They're handful, all huh? teenagers right now. It's 13 year old, 15, 17, and 19. 17 and 19, oh man. I was talking to, I was interviewing um, Jack Grisham from TSO one time, they said it was God's big joke that he gave him a beautiful daughter because the guy was such a womanizer in his younger uh, days. So are, is, are you having like beat off the boys, the young boys with sticks or anything? You no, know, I've been I mean, blessed. Fight them off at them, you know. I, I'm blessed with beautiful daughters, <laughs> but right now they're still, uh, they're still growing up and, and luckily I haven't had to have a lot of the evil, nasty, monstrous uh, uh, fights with boys or yeah. with worries about drugs and alcohol or, or tattoos and piercings or really? other pretty, body... Uh, they're pretty Changing. mellow. Yeah. They're pretty tame. Good, no, good. I'm lucky. We're, we're, we're really, Did a good we're job. really lucky. Yeah. Nice, nice. Ha, have, you, have your have your attitudes changed remarkably over the years when it comes to um, 
um, I don't know, just in general. I mean, how, how do you feel right now about the way the, the music scene is? Or, I mean, you've been at it a long time, obviously. Have there been any watershed moments for you where things are remarkably different now compared to w the way they were back in the mid-80s? You know, I, when we started, we never had any anticipation of, of being professional musicians. I think we just did it as a, as a, as a hobby or, or something we loved. You know, it was a labor of love. We spent our money. We worked day jobs and uh, we went to the studio to, to, to make recordings and we bought equipment and stuff and it was something that we did because we had a passion for it. Back in New Jersey? Uh-huh. Where are New Jersey from? Wayne, New Jersey, Passaic okay. County. And we were just really, really fortunate, really lucky to, to, to connect in, in some way in, in, the, in the 80s and, and we made a bunch of records and, we, you know, I don't know, I don't know how it happened because the stuff that was popular when we were coming out wasn't, you know, wasn't what was on the radio. What was on the radio wasn't what we sounded like, and what we sounded like wasn't what was on the radio. So back then it was like new wave. New wave's the big thing, right? Yeah, and but we were was... trying to be, you know, we weren't trying to make a career in music. We were just trying to, you know, make records that we thought were cool and that we like, we would enjoy buying if we, if we could. So, so you know, the fact that we're still doing it in 19, in 2008 is, yeah. is remarkable. It is. It is. And uh, this tour is going to take you uh, eventually to. The East Coast and to New York, and then after that, are you going to go to uh, Europe, maybe? Or Only something? time will tell. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, we're going to Mexico. We're going to uh, anywhere, anywhere they call us. I have a guitar. We'll travel. Right on. Well, I want to want to thank you for uh, doing this interview with us. I, I'm, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm I'm really glad you asked. It's it's my pleasure. It's an honor and a privilege. And uh, is, is there anything you want to say to the uh, Dramarama fans that are out there that'll that'll be watching us and that will Thank be? Thank you. Well, sincerely. Thanks, John. Not at all.